Today we're trying out the Ambiano handheld vacuum pump. Now we picked this up from the Aldi online store. You can buy the individual vacuum sealing items, but we picked it up as a set, as a little package for £19.97. So we got the vacuum pump. It's quite small, it's got a one touch action. It creates an airtight seal so you can store foods vacuum packed in the fridge or freezer. Helps preserve the freshness of your food and stops food wastage. It takes batteries and I believe there's some in the box here as well that it came with. It's got an auto stop function so it will stop automatically once the pressure in the vacuum pack has been reached. With this set you got one food container that holds about 1.2 litres of food, ideal for using in the freezer or the fridge. And we also got some vacuum bags. There's three different sizes in here and it's a 10 piece set. And again, these bags can go in the freezer and the microwave. It has a resistance for cold temperatures of up to minus 18 degrees. It's got the label on, so you can write on there your food and dates. You can reuse these bags, obviously depending on what you put in them and how you use them, they should clean up and you'll be able to use them again. And they're suitable for microwave cooking and sous vide cooking, which means you can drop the bags into boiling water and cook the food that's inside them. So ideal for meat or fish or something like that. So let's get this out of the box and see what we're looking at. So this comes with the user manual. This is the cleaning and maintenance guide. It tells you how to use the vacuum sealer and it's fairly simple. The sealer itself is quite small and neat. There's a little cartridge for the batteries. It takes three AA batteries and then that just sits on top. There's two buttons on this. There's the auto stop button. If that's pressed in, it will auto stop when the sealing is complete at a certain pressure. If it's not, you'll have to stop it. And then the button on top is the start on and off button that starts the sucking. So you're just going to sit this onto your box or your bag and that's where it will suck the air out. The bags are three different sizes. We've got the label that you can write on on the front. So basically you can just open the seal at the top to put your food in. And then you need to make sure that seal is snapped closed all the way, otherwise it won't suck the air out efficiently. There is a little clip included that you can just run along the bag to make sure it's completely sealed. And then this is the valve where you can remove the air. The box looks like a normal Tupperware style box with a clip lock lid. Again, once you've got your food in there, you need to make sure all four sides are clicked down properly. You've got the valve on top that you suck the air out of. If you're using the auto stop, that function will stop it when the pressure is reached. If you're not using the auto stop, you'll suck on it until the lid just slightly starts to sink in and then you'll know it's fully sealed with all the air out. When you want to open this box later on, there's a little release button and when you press it down, it will release some of the air to make it easy to take the lid off. So we're going to give both the box and one of the bags a little try and see if it works.
So there we have it, that's the Ambiano handheld vacuum pump. In just a few seconds, we've vacuum packed some food items into the Tupperware and into the bags. Now this is not suitable for packing liquids and if you are doing softer items like cake or berries, you wouldn't want to take all the air out otherwise they'd just get crushed. But it works really well for more stable foods. And I would recommend buying it as a package with the Tupperware and the bags so that you're all set up and ready to go. But you can order more bags and more of the Tupperware boxes in different sizes from the Aldi online store. And just make sure you've got the ones that are compatible with the vacuum pump. So we'll add this to our Ambiano playlist and hopefully that's helped someone. Thanks for watching.